Hello, this is Asher Kadoon with Pulse Secure Technical Marketing, and today we're going to talk about the Virtual License Server. So the Virtual License Server uh, was introduced in Kinect Secure 8.3 R1, which was just released a while ago. We've been getting a few questions about uh, how it runs, uh, what it does, so that's what we're going to cover today. So when you talk licensing options for um, our products, there's two ways you can do licensing. So the license can be applied either on the appliance, so on appliance, meaning if you have uh, Consec licenses, the Consec licenses will go on Connect Secure. If you have Polsec licenses, they go on Policy Secure. And all the optional licenses will all be always on the appliance itself. The other option is to use uh, enterprise licensing. So with enterprise licensing, uh, you have a license server, and then the license server leases out licenses to licensed clients. So I can have um, one license server and a bunch of clients, which would be either Connect Secure or Policy Secure. Um, so PCS and PPS, and I would be licensing. Uh, these boxes as needed. So I can put a thousand here, start each one off with let's say 50, 50, 50, and as needed, they would be pulling licenses so that they can service the connections that are happening. So previously, uh, before this release, what we had was a physical license server. So you would actually purchase one of our load boxes, let's say a PSA 300 or a PSA 3000, or a MAG 2600 for the uh, older generation of hardware, and you would put all the licenses there, uh, and then that would be your license server. What we just introduced is VLS, and VLS is the virtual licensing server. So what are the things that I should know about VLS? First thing you should know is that it's available right now on VMware. So what actually happens is, as part of the virtual license server, we have to kind of tie it to hardware somehow. And right now what we're doing is we're doing some low-level VMware calls to check on things um, on the VMware hypervisor so that we can uh, create kind of a virtual hardware ID and tie all the licenses to that. Once that actually happens, VLS talks to something called uh, pickles, and that's something that's based in the cloud. So VLS needs to be uh, kind of cloud aware. And it talks to that just to ensure that, hey, I'm a, a virtual license server, and I'm trying to pull licenses. So how does it actually pull these licenses? It does it a few ways. One is you can use auth codes. And auth codes are, uh, it's basically a string that you go into um, our licensing server or license uh, authority. And then from there, you generate a license key. So you can either go license key or auth codes. Auth codes really saves you the step because these license keys are actually generated based on uh, auth codes. Using auth codes really is an automated way for the VLS to go talk to PCLS or Pickles and then say, OK, your auth code is valid. Now here are all your licenses that you can push out to clients, okay? Uh, another thing that you should note is that VLS supports leasing to uh, virtual appliances. So these, uh, these clients can be virtual appliances, so the virtual uh, PCS or virtual PPS, or it can be on um, PSA. The MAG, SA, IC series, the older generation hardware is not supported with virtual licensing. If you do have those, then you have to stick with a physical license server. So that's kind of how it works. Now, how do you order it? Uh, so when ordering, what you need to do is actually uh, order the virtual license appliance. So there's a virtual appliance that's the license server. You need to also um, order the license server license itself that enables uh, the functionality and of course you order the support 
And then once you order the license server itself, then you would actually go and order all the licensing that you want to push out to clients. Those can be connection-based licenses, or it can be future licenses like onboarding, uh, things like uh, collaboration or meeting. So all of those things will be ordered. And then again, uh, you'll be delivered auth codes. You can put all those auth codes in, and then uh, your virtual license server is ready to go and ready to distribute licenses for your uh, appliances to be uh, able to service all the connections. For more information, please visit www.pulsecure.net and learn more. Thank you.